Hey guys, sorry I know it's been a long time. Uh, had a lot going on and um, you know, quite frankly my head's not on the game. So I wanna try to bring y'all up to speed on everything. You know, things have been rough for me lately. It's all mostly personal stuff, you know, nothing really with the business. I'll be honest, the business has slowed down. I think that's uh, primarily because my head's not been in the game. I'm a true believer that you get out of life what you put into it. So the more you put into your business, the more effort you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. That's always been my philosophy and I think I've proven myself true. So as I informed y'all before, you know, I was given some bad news from my dad. Um, I honestly don't remember what all I told y'all in that video. Um, I'll be honest, my head is just my head's been messed up since. I'm not doing good when it comes to dealing with all this personal stuff going on. I'm really depressed right now. And, you know, I just don't want to mix those words. You know, I mean, that that's what's going on. And it's really affecting everything. So I'm struggling to get over that. It's taking me longer than I expected. And quite frankly, I might not ever get over it. And it might only get worse. But... I'm trying to get past it right now and move forward. Thing is, my dad's okay right now, but you know, in the future, you know, he's gonna eventually pass away. And when that time comes, it might be pretty rough. The circumstances I can't really talk about, but it's rough. It's, it's kind of crazy stuff. So, um, yeah. I just uh, don't want to get into it too much, but all I can do is deal with the situation right now and <laughs> when it gets worse. So um, that's where I'm at with everything. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff that's been going on. My son has medical issues. He has type 1 diabetes. We've been dealing with that. We've been It's a struggle. We got him on an insulin pump and then it messed up three days into it and we had to get rid of it and then go back to the old method and uh, a lot of people don't understand how serious that stuff is but it's, it's life changing it completely literally changes everything that you have to do throughout your life from that moment forward once you've been diagnosed and um yeah he, he will die if he doesn't have insulin every single day and so it's not like type 2 diabetes where you just gotta kind of watch what you eat and everything it's now you're insulin dependent you will die if you don't have insulin every single day and um and it's a constant constant battle between the highs and the lows of your blood sugar if your blood sugar goes too low you could go into a seizure go into a coma and you could die um so it's very serious there's a lot of times in the middle you know i don't i don't get much sleep at all anyways i typically work about you know uh, about 18 to 20 hours a day you know i'm getting four to six hours of sleep six hours of sleep on a really good night for me four hours of sleep is normal for me and uh it's definitely been affecting me because this is going on almost two years of this and um to throw in the mix in the middle of all that when my son has the, the blood sugar lows he um it wakes me up in the middle of the night and i've got to deal with it that's when he could die so it's very serious. I've got to wake up in the middle of the night, sometimes three, four, five times a middle of the night to deal with the situation. So the insulin pump should help with that, but so far it hasn't been working properly. We had to get off of it. Hopefully we'll get back on it soon. But anyways, so that's been a real struggle for me, um, dealing with all that stuff. And then um, also I've got a daughter that moved out so uh she is an adult daughter we bought the house that we have because our daughter um you know she wanted to live with us right now in the current situation that she had going on or when we moved in here she did and so we got a four bedroom four bathroom house it's well it's four bedroom three and a half bath house and um we got that specifically, you got this house specifically because it has two master suites basically. It has a suite for me and my wife that's the true master suite and then it has a secondary master suite that's not quite as big as the main master but it's pretty dang big, decent size. 
and quite frankly it would might make a nice little sticker shop um, my plans originally were to take over that room uh, she was paying rent and so now our rent has gone up which is a bad thing because funds are already tight right now with trying to start a business and everything and um, so rent's gone up I've got to pay more I was hoping to take over that room and use it for the sticker shop but I didn't win that battle yep I've got a wife we make decisions together or at least try to sometimes she makes her own decisions every now and then I'll make my own decisions and that's a decision she made herself without me I wasn't happy about it we got into some big arguments about it but that's where we settle at uh, her daughter the, the the middle daughter we have three daughters the middle-aged daughter now sorry I'm sorry the youngest daughter is now going to move into the room of her uh, middle of the middle-aged sister who's moving out and so anyways I was hoping to take over that room I can't it would have been nice size and everything because it's, it's it's pretty big but um, instead I'm gonna move into her old room I'm gonna almost look at it as a challenge I'm gonna see what I can do to make that into the sticker shop and try to fit the whole sticker production in there I might not be able to fit the label printer inside of there but I'm gonna try to fit the graph tech the Roland my whole desk setup and one of these tables I need to have the laminator roll sorry the laminate roll the cutter and then the laminator all in there so I'm gonna try to get enough stuff to be able to do some sticker production and um, I might have to do the roll labels out here in the garage still but right now I'm using the same program to do everything the same computer to do everything so I'd have to have another computer set up if I'm gonna roll do that as a standalone setup so I'd really want everything to be in the same room I'm not gonna be able to have everything in here so I'm really looking at this more as an expansion than I am a downsizing because I'm gonna be able to use that room up there for my printers and then the garage down here for like all my shipping packaging you know my 3d printer my heat press all that sort of stuff can stay out here all my extra stuff all my extra stock and everything can stay out here I'm gonna try to streamline everything that I have up in the sticker shop but I'm also gonna kind of try to do it to show y'all what kind of space you can do this in you know at this point I'm not I'm not printing out thousands of stickers at a time I, I do have some people that order a thousand stickers I don't think I've ever had any orders larger than 1,000 so I'm able to manage it with the Roland BN 20 once I start getting orders that into the thousands for single orders I'm gonna have to go to something bigger anyways you know a, a, a larger a 36 inch or whatever printer or something like that um, so anyways right now I think for what I'm doing I can fit it all up in that room and that's gonna be what I'm gonna try to do anyway so check out the next couple of videos see how it's coming along or I'm gonna have at least one other video of me actually building out the room um, so just follow you know watch for that and then um, stick around I'm gonna try to make some more videos I'm honestly having trouble coming up with content so if you have ideas let me know um, I sometimes people tell me like well you know make one doing this when I've already done it so I'm trying to not repeat the same videos over and over but sometimes it might make sense to to do kind of the basic stuff so that y'all can see it you know over and over repetitively and see kind of the way I do it and, and if I do it if I make several videos of it you're gonna pick up on different little things little tricks here and there that I do so um, anyways stick around I'm sorry for the lack of content lately um, but I'm struggling you know and 
I, uh, I appreciate all of y'all and all the, the viewers and everything and all the comments and all the well wishes. I really do appreciate it. Um, at the same time, and you know, I've been trying to, this is my, uh, th this platform is a way for me to vent also. Like I said, I'm sharing everything that I do with y'all, you know, and so this is one of the little things I'm, I'm, I'm asking from y'all is kind of let me vent from time to time. But, um, uh, I've got some dental work that I'm getting done. It's something I've always been embarrassed about. When I hold the camera at angles, when I talk, everything I do, I try to make sure y'all can't see my teeth because it's just something that's been going on for a long time. You know, I put a bunch of other stuff in front of it. I had a real rough childhood and ever since my childhood, it's been something that's been, we haven't really taken care of the way I should have. Uh, we had a lot of tragedy in my, in my upbringing between my brother and me and stuff going on. So uh, a lot of that stuff, we, we didn't go to like regular dentist appointments and stuff like that because we had other tragedy that basically put us in shock. And w for years we were just in shock, not knowing what to do, how to live life and everything. And so, um, you know, that's something that I just didn't take care of back then. So I'm trying to take care of it now. And, um, it's crazy guys but i'm trying to save all the teeth that i have because they've been you know breaking and and getting messed up getting cavities and stuff and so i'm trying to save everything that i have i don't want to you know have to mess around with dentures or implants or anything and saving them believe it or not is not really the the cheapest way to do it so uh this has costed me twenty thousand dollars um to fix my teeth and try to save the teeth that i have Cause it's been something that mentally has been messing with me. It's been making me real depressed uh, for years and it's been getting worse and worse and worse. And so, um, you know, like I said, this is something I, I won't even talk to about with everybody and very, very few people even know about it, but here I am sharing it with YouTube. But, uh, that's what I feel like. This is kind of like a family and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all letting me vent and everything. Uh, but that's where I'm at. I'm trying to take care of some stuff. I'm trying to get life straight and everything and take care of myself for the future, you know, because I don't want to end up living a bad life for my kids and stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching and continue to watch, please. I need to get my viewers up, my, my viewer count up, uh, or sorry, my viewer watch hours up uh, so I can get this monetized. This channel's still not monetized because my watch hours aren't high enough. I've got over a thousand subscribers, but I need to get my watch hours up. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go check the condition of the room right now, and I might give you all a little preview of what the new space is going to look like before I start setting it up. So, uh, But anyways, y'all take it easy. Uh, y'all might get to go check out the room here in a second if I go do that. If not, I'll holler at y'all next time. All right, take it easy. Peace.